Elements, formulae and symbols. Universe is filled with matter. You have an idea about matter which is around us. Air what you breathe, water what you drink, things what you use. Even we are all different kinds of matter. You can find matter in many forms like in solids, liquids and gases. If we consider ice, this is a solid form of water. What about water? This is the liquid form of water. And water vapors, this is the gaseous form of water. You can find different matter are having different characteristics. Like their color, shape, size, smell, like these things. A matter is consisting of small particles which are called atoms. Atoms are combined to form molecules. Molecules are combined to form compounds. That means all the elements are made up of small particles which are called atoms. Suppose we consider the oxygen atoms. They combine to form oxygen molecules. Hydrogen atoms, they combine to form hydrogen molecules. When hydrogen atoms and oxygen atoms, they combine, a water compound, that is H2O, will be formed. There are 117 known elements. To identify all these elements, we require some representation. Symbols of elements, this is nothing but a short form of representation of an element. In daily life, you come across so many symbols. Suppose rupees, this is the symbol for Indian rupee. Similarly, this is a US dollar symbol. This is the symbol of swastik. This is a symbol Om. Similarly, all the elements, they are represented using symbol. Each element has a unique symbol assigned to it. The symbol of an element is not used for any other element. For example, hydrogen. Instead of writing hydrogen, we can represent hydrogen element using symbol capital H. And in chemical changes, when we write capital H, it means the element hydrogen. How our symbols are chosen? For some elements, the first letter of the name of the element is taken. For example, for hydrogen, the symbol is H. This is the first letter of hydrogen. The symbol of nitrogen is N. For carbon, the first letter C. The phosphorus P. Oxygen O. Sulfur S. Fluorine F. For some elements, the first two letters, the name of the element are taken. For calcium, suppose if we take C is the symbol for calcium. But already for carbon it is there. Therefore, the symbol for calcium is given as CA. When two letters are chosen, the first one is capital, the second one is small letter. Similarly, aluminium, AL. Germanium, GE, Neon, NE, Helium, HE, Silicon, SI, Argon, YA, Nickel, NI. And for some elements, the symbols is taken based on sound. Magnesium, MG, Manganese, Yemen. For some elements, the symbols are taken from Latin names. For sodium, the Latin name of sodium is natrium. The symbol is Na. Potassium, the Latin name is gallium. And the symbol is K. Lead, plumbum, Pb. Iron, the Latin name is ferrum. And the symbol is Fe. Silver, the Latin name is argentum. And the symbol is Ag. Copper, 
The Latin name is cuprum. The symbol is cu. Gold. The Latin name is aram, and the symbol is eu. Antimony. The Latin name is stibium, and the symbol is sb. And this table gives some elements, their symbols. These are metallic elements. These are non-metallic elements. These are inert gases. For sodium, it is Na, calcium Ca, potassium K, zinc Zn, magnesium Mg, copper Cu, aluminium Al, iron Fe, lead Pb, manganese Mn, platinum Pt, tin Sn, gold Au, silver Ag. Mercury Hg. For non metallic elements, oxygen O, chlorine Cl, sulfur S, carbon C, hydrogen H, nitrogen N, bromine Br, iodine I, phosphorus P, silicon Si. And the inert gas elements, helium. It is represented with He. A neon Ne, argon Ea. Now, what symbol represents? What the information it gives? A symbol conveys very useful information about the element it represents. For example, H is used for the element hydrogen and conveys the following information. The symbol H is of the element hydrogen and H represents one atom of hydrogen. Similarly, O, it is used for element oxygen and it conveys the symbol O is of the element oxygen. The symbol O represents one atom of oxygen. Formula of compounds. A formula is a short form representation of a compound. Each compound has a symbol assigned to it. The symbol of compound is not used for any compound. You know any compounds? A compound is nothing but the combination of two or more atoms or two or more elements. The formula or short form of representation of carbon dioxide is CO2. Similarly, for hydrogen chloride, it is HCl. For water, it is H2O. A formula gives the following important information. The formula of a compound gives information about the elements that combine to form that compound. For example, we consider the formula for water is H2O. From this, what we can understand? By combining hydrogen and oxygen elements, water is formed. And the formula gives the exact number of atoms of each element that have combined to form the molecule. You take the same formula H2O. This formula gives the information two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom are combined to form water. The formula can be used to find the simple ratio of atoms of each element that have combined to form the molecule. That means, suppose we consider H2O. What is the ratio of atoms of each element? You have two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom, that is, the ratio of the elements is 2 is to 1. Now, we take some examples. Two oxygen atoms are combined to give oxygen molecule. The formula for the oxygen is O2. Similarly, a one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms are combined to form carbon dioxide. For this, the formula is CO2. Two hydrogen atoms one oxygen atom, they combine to form water and the formula of a water molecule is H2O. Three hydrogen atoms, one nitrogen atom are combined to form ammonia. The formula of a ammonia molecule is NH3. Similarly, sodium and chlorine, they combine to form sodium chloride. The formula of a sodium chloride is NaCl. 
calcium and chlorine are combined to form calcium chloride and the formula of calcium chloride is CaCl2. Now we take the formula related to some homoatomic molecules. Already we know that atom is the smallest particle of element that exhibit all its properties and may or may not have an independent existence. Molecule is the smallest particle of a compound which is capable of independent existence. Molecules are formed when atoms of one or more elements combined in fixed ratios. The molecules can be made up of atoms of the same element. They can be made up of atoms of different elements. The molecules can be made up of atoms of the same element, then they are called homoatomic molecules. The examples for homoatomic molecules are hydrogen to hydrogen atoms combines to form hydrogen molecule. The formula is H2 or nitrogen to nitrogen atoms combines to form a nitrogen molecule. The formula is N2, chlorine, Cl2, oxygen, O2, that means two oxygen atoms are combined to form O2 molecule. Ozone, O3, that means three oxygen atoms are combined to form ozone molecule. Homoatomic molecules can be further classified based on number of atoms in the molecule. Suppose if it contains two atoms, it is called diatomic molecule. The examples of diatomic are H2, N2, Cl2. If it contains three atoms called triatomic molecule. The examples of triatomic molecule are ozone that is O3 and recently a type of carbon called Buckminster fullerene has been discovered. It has 60 atoms of carbon and one molecule. This is C60. And this is called polyatomic molecule. Polyatomic molecule means the molecules are having more than three atoms. Monoatomic molecule means some elements exist as a single stable atoms and therefore are made up of monoatomic molecules. The examples for monoatomic are helium, argon, neon, which are inert gases. They are stable with one atom, they will not combine with others. Nitrogen, bromine, oxygen, hydrogen, chlorine, iodine, these are diatomic molecules. They contain two atoms. The atomicity is two. Atomicity means the number of atoms present in a molecule of an element is known as atomicity. For example, oxygen. Oxygen molecule contains two atoms, hence its atomicity is 2. Ozone contains three atoms, its atomicity is 3. If we take ozone, this is a triatomic molecule, the atomicity is 3. Sulfur, the symbol of sulfur is SH, that means sulfur molecule contains 8 atoms, its atomicity is 8. Phosphorus, P4. It contains four atoms, hence the atomicity is four. Heteroatomic molecules. Hetero means different. The molecules which have atoms more than one element in the molecule, they are called heteroatomic molecules. We see some formula for heteroatomic molecules. Water, H2O, which is formed with hydrogen and oxygen. Ammonia. NH3. This is formed with nitrogen and hydrogen. Sodium chloride, NaCl, carbon dioxide, CO2, calcium carbonate, CaCO3. This table gives a list of common matter which we see around us. King of chemicals, it is sulfuric acid and the formula is H2SO4. And you know vinegar? Where you use vinegar? Yes, while cooking you use this. 
it is acetic acid and the formula is CH3COOH a lime water you are familiar with lime water the chemical name of lime water is calcium hydroxide and the formula is CaOH2 that means it is formed with calcium oxygen and hydrogen atoms caustic soda caustic soda where we use this yes it is sodium hydroxide formula is NaOH chalk marble limestone it is calcium carbonate the formula is CaCO3 washing soda washing soda surf it is sodium carbonate and Na2CO3 and baking soda baking soda is used in kitchen it is sodium bicarbonate and the formula is NaHCO3 bleaching powder as to purify the water we use bleaching powder for washing purpose also we use bleaching powder it is calcium oxychloride and the formula is CaOCl2 common salt or table salt of course without this we can't eat anything it is sodium chloride the formula is NaCl table sugar it is also important ingredient it is sucrose the formula is C12 H22O11 dry ice it is carbon dioxide in solid form and the formula is CO2 a laughing gas it is nitrous oxide and 2O if you smell this gas always you can laugh tear gas you know what is tear gas which can make you cry this is chlorophyllin the formula is CCL3 and O2 Mars gas Mars gas it is methane the formula is CH4 these are some important compounds formula what we use in our daily life